Today is uh, Friday, 1st of March 2024 in Pacific Tower Divers. Hello fellow fish reefers. After seven years underwater, it's my great pleasure to share with you these amazing results from P and G1, the very first biogenic reef ever made in the country of Papua New Guinea. In 2017, the fish reef team went down to Papua New Guinea and with our local team, we produced 21 reef units, placed them on the seafloor, and it took a little while for them to get going, but over time, the large game fish have come in probably to swallow up the small fish that swim around there. And we have a really good number of hard coral starts. We have bony corals, we have staghorn corals, we have plate corals, we have cauliflower corals. As you can see, the reef units have not sunk into the sand or scoured. And here's a nice outcropping of what looks like a type of scallop or perhaps a baby tridacna a giant clam. It's amazing how each and every reef unit is its own separate ecosystem even though they're only separated by a few meters. Here's a staghorn coral starting to grow. On the inside of the reef units, you can see kind of a patina, a covering of hard corals. Looking around, the small fish probably lay their eggs inside. And the local fishermen report increased catch. I think in the future we'll probably place the sea cave reef units that will be the next phase closer together and also closer in towards the island in slightly shallower water. Because the photo penetration is very important when it comes to growing coral. This is interesting as you can see a staghorn coral and a plate coral just getting started and right across the way is one of the largest specimens of cauliflower coral on the reef units that we've seen. This is a beautiful specimen and it probably took hold very quickly after these reef units were deployed. And this is a, a wonderful kind of experiment to show you exactly how large a seven-year-old cauliflower or plate coral actually is. It looks to me to be about 30 centimeters tall by about 40 centimeters wide. There are a number of these on the 21 reef units but this was the most exaggerated and successful individual. Corals are fascinating because they'll actually go to war with one another so by separating the reef units just a little bit it allows one particular type of coral to take hold and thrive on each reef unit. Papua New Guinea is a vital place for the fight against climate change because there's very little coral bleaching in Papua New Guinea, making it an ideal place to restore and, and grow and augment the coral population as kind of a genetic repository for the rest of the world. As you can see, the small fish just have made the reef unit their home. Inside, you can see more bony corals. a thing of true beauty. Looking in through the top. Some of the coral, the more gentle coral, seems to prefer to grow on the inside. 
and that's likely to protect it from heavy currents and surges. Coral reaches a critical mass and we'll come back in two or three years and this in entire community will be just utterly covered with stony corals. There's a lionfish and there's kind of a fragile stony coral sticking out of the center. And there's a number of uh, tunics growing off of the sea cave and here's another kind of feather duster is what that's called which is a type of a soft coral but you can also see the hard coral stop starts just below it. And here's another cauliflower coral just getting started. Squirrel fish hiding out there. And here we are with the clownfish. This was amazing because the clownfish moved in the day that we deployed these. And as soon as that anemone started to grow, this family of clownfish has just dominated this one particular reef unit. There's probably three or four generations now that have lived and thrive on this exact anemone with this beautiful symbiotic relationship where the poison darts of the anemone protect the clownfish and vice versa. The clownfish brings it food and the anemone brings protection to the clownfish through stinging anything that comes by. Naturally, the clownfish is immune to the stings of the enemy. Anemone, sorry. And there's some beautiful snapper, commercial size, sport fishing size. I believe those were sweet lip snapper. And placed in just the right location, in just the right current with just the right bottom, we can really increase the amount of marine life in Papua New Guinea. And this is a testament to what a good start we have. In the future, we will build and deploy our patented, trademarked, copywritten sea caves that are one-ton reef units made with chemically engineered concrete that is ideal for coral. And the large openings in them are perfect for large fish and large crayfish. This is, this is an example of what the deployment looks like. Put them down on racks of four. We send down the commercial dive team. And in a few years, you have a thriving oasis of life. And from everybody at the Fish Reef Project, thank you for helping ocean life thrive.